What's up guys, it's John Bones Jones. We're here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and uh, it's time for us to go get some training in. I have this little ritual that I do. I like to listen to some of my uh, favorite quotes for a practice, kind of get myself in the right mindset, you know, so I can, uh, you know, perform like an athlete, perform like a champion going into every practice. Mental you game, do. man. Get my mental reps in every day to practice. I'm the way to practice. Stage I'm at my trainer right now, I'm uh, really starting to peak out, you know, I'm feeling faster than ever. Right now I'm trying to really emphasize on being really fast, working on a lot of takedown defense stuff, a lot of jiu-jitsu from the bottom, and just being as fast as possible on my feet. John's fighting Vladimir Medeshenko for this fight. Medeshenko has some great wrestling, so we're trying to negate that. Um, he also has some heavy hands, and we're trying to negate that as well. So we're really uh, working on staying offensive-minded, staying creative and it's, it's gonna be a real interesting war. The guys that I'm working with, they're not really trying to emulate Matryoshenko. These guys are, in some ways, in my opinion, better than Matryoshenko uh, when it comes to wrestling. And we have just a lot of guys, a lot of tough wrestlers who have a lot of pride in trying to get me down. My main goal is to not be taken down at all, and uh, that's what I work on, a lot of takedown defense and a lot of takedowns. I have a lot of confidence in my wrestling, and uh, I feel as if I'm still in my wrestling prime, and I'm gonna try to prove that I'm one of the better fighters in the heavyweight division. It's gonna be a, a task, but you know, that's what brings me to work every day. Wrestling, baby. Big part of the game. I haven't forgotten how to wrestle. And just when you hit, I want a good solid structure. You guys are swimming a little bit. Swimming this way. And you want that solid weight transfer. With working with John Jones, um, it, it's a real challenge because he's so creative that I want to make sure that he doesn't lose that creativity. We also do positional stuff where he can create and flow and, uh, and really get the experience that he needs to be creative in those situations. Drive him! That's our game plan right there, John. We're going to throw him out of the cage. That's my man. Just finished up with uh, all my training for today. Now it's time to go freshen up and get a little haircut. MMA Weekly, they're gonna call him about six minutes. I'm not interrupting, but I am getting a haircut right now. It's all good. You know, guys like Vladimir, you know, he's not gonna lay down for you and he's not gonna break. You're gonna have to mentally and physically break him, and I'm prepared for that. I'm down to about 217 right now. I feel fast, and my reaction times are feeling better than ever, and uh, everything, the pieces of the puzzle are coming together, and uh, I feel like I'm peaking, so I feel great. So, we just finished getting a haircut. Average day in a training camp down in New Mexico. Well, my family's in town. They're going to be here for about five or six days, and that's awesome, you know. Um, towards the end of a training camp, you should really start to feel burnt a little bit. Seeing your family is a really, really uh, fresh breath of air. You're going out to eat and just spending a lot of quality time. It feels great. Are you going to fight like your daddy? Daddy. Are you going to be a fighter? Yeah, oh no. Don't hit me. You gotta be nice to daddy. You gotta protect daddy. You know, it just gives me that spike of energy. It reminds me why I'm out here, why I'm suffering. Got about two, three more weeks until the fight. Got to see my family, feel re-energized and, and even more motivated to get this W. I watch my own fights and I can see that I'm getting better and better. And uh, I think I've kicked it up to a different level now. So I'm just ready to show the fight fans that I can do a little bit of everything now. And uh, I'm just ready to go out there and mix it up. Now we're going to see who's the better man. 